Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to do crochet cabbage patch stitch. So these stitches are looking bit fuzzy through the camera, but don't worry. I'll be teaching you shortly. So stay tuned. Now here I'm using 4 mm hook and 100% woolen thread. I'm taking two strands together. So let's begin by making a slip knot. And next, we are going to put foundation chain stitches. So it should be multiples of 4 plus 7. So 4 into 5, 20 plus 7. So total 27 foundation chain stitches I'm going to put. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 5, 9, 20. So multiples of 4 plus 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 20 plus 7. So total 27 foundation chain stitches. So you can take one strand, that's your wish. I love crocheting with two strands, three strands and all. Let's move on to the first row of cabbage patch stitch. So here for the first row you have to skip four chain stitches. Okay, from the hook. So don't count this loop. One, two, three, four. Okay, you have to skip these four chain stitches and have to insert your hook into the fifth chain and have to do four double crochets. Okay, so skip four chains one, two, three, four and insert your hook into the fifth one. So yarn over and insert your hook into the fifth chain stitch and I have to do double crochet okay, you are going to put three more double crochet into the same chain stitch yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over again pull out the hook and yarn together yarn over pull through two loops yarn over again pull through two loops so we need two more double crochet yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch and do double crochet we need one more yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain stitch and have to do one more double crochet so total four double crochet into the same chain stitch so let's make another one next we are going to skip three chains not four three chains one two and three three chains from your hook and you have to work into the fourth chain stitch okay so we are going to do four double crochet stitch into the fourth chain stitch so yarn over and insert your hook into the fourth chain stitch and you have to do double crochet Two, three, and four. Okay, so let's continue the same way. Next, we are going to skip three chains and going to work into the fourth chain. We have to do four double crochet stitch into the fourth chain and again you have to skip three chains and have to work into the fourth chain okay so like so you have to continue till the end so skip three chains from the hook one two three and work into the fourth chain 
yarn over and insert your hook into the fourth chain and after do four double crochet stitches and four okay you're going to continue the same steps till the end oh. here I almost finished the first row of cabbage patch stitch so we are going to end up this row putting a double crochet stitch into the last stitch so we have total two chain stitches left so we are going to work our double crochet stitch to end up this row into at the last chain stitch so yarn over and insert your hook into the last chain stitch and have to do a double crochet okay so let's move on to the second row of cabbage patch stitch put three chain stitch and flip your work and here what you have to do is you have to skip this next three stitches and have to work into the fourth stitch okay into the fourth stitch we are going to do a double crochet so skip three stitches one two and three and work into the fourth one so yarn over and you have to insert your hook into the fourth stitch and have to do a double crochet Okay. Next, we have to put two chains and we are going to work a double crochet stitch into this stitch which we skipped. We put two chain stitches, and yarn over and go behind and come to the front and insert your hook into the first skipped stitch and shift your work like this now you have three loops in your hook and you have to do a double crochet stitch yarn over pull out the hook and yarn together yarn over pull through two loops yarn over again pull through two loops okay let's make another one I know you didn't understand I'll make another one and I'll show you next the same way as we done in the previous stitch you have to skip three stitches and have to work into the fourth one so one two three we are going to skip these three stitches and we are and we are going to work into the fourth stitch we are going to do a double crochet stitch into that stitch so yarn over and insert your hook into the fourth stitch and have to do a double crochet okay okay then put two chains and next we are going to work into this first skipped stitch okay so yarn over and go behind of the stitch and come to the front this way and insert your hook into the first stitch we skipped okay and shift your work like this or now you have three loops in your hook okay I'll show you one more time just yarn over go behind and come to the front and insert your hook into the first skipped stitch and shift your work like this okay and do a double crochet yarn over pull out the hook and yarn together yarn over pull through two loops yarn over again pull through two loops 
okay so let's make another one skip three stitches do a double crochet stitch into the fourth one so yarn over insert your hook into the fourth one and you have to do a double crochet and put two chains and yarn over and do a double crochet stitch into the first skipped stitch okay Come to the front and insert your hook into the first stitch and shift your work into this direction and do a double crochet. Okay. So this is how we are going to continue till the end. Okay. We are nearing to the end of this row. So yarn over, skip three, next three stitches and insert your hook into the fourth stitch from the hook. Okay, and do a double crochet and chain two, yarn over go behind come to the front and insert your hook into into the first stitch first skipped stitch and shift to this direction and do a double crochet okay we are going to do a double crochet stitch and we are going to end up this row so here you can see turning chains one two and three on top of the turning chain you are going to put a double crochet stitch and we are going to end up this row so insert your hook into the top of the turning chain okay and do a double crochet and we are done at the first row of cabbage patch next we are going to move to the next row so put three chains and flip your work so here in this row what you're going to do is we are going to do the same steps in the first row of cabbage patch stitch okay four double crochet stitch into the same stitch okay so we have to find out where you have to do that four double crochet stitches so here you can see uh, our previous rows chain space here you can see chain two space of the previous row here 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 okay so we are going to work into that space so just yarn over and insert your hook into the chain two space and have to do four double crochet stitch into the same chain space okay Two, three, and four. Okay. So let's make another one. This is your next chain to space so we're going to work into that yarn over and insert your hook into the into this chain to space and you have to do four double crochet stitches one two three and okay we'll continue the same way we are going to work only into the chain two spaces okay we'll be right back 
So here I almost finished this row. So I'll show you how to end up this row. So here you can see three turning chains, one, two, and three. On top of this turning chain, we are going to simply do a double crochet. You are going to insert your hook into the third chain and have to do a double crochet. Okay. Let's move on to the next row. I'll show you one more row for three chains and turn your work. And now what you have to do is you have to work into the fourth stitch. Skip the next three stitches. Work into the fourth stitch. So skip three stitch. One, two, three. And work into the fourth stitch. So you are going to work a double crochet stitch into the fourth stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook into the fourth stitch. And have to do a double crochet. Okay. Then put two chains. And next we are going to work into the first skipped stitch. So what you have to do is yarn over and go behind of the stitch and come to the front and insert your hook into the first skipped stitch and shift your work into this direction and have to do a double crochet stitch. Okay. Next into the fourth into the fourth stitch so skip three stitches one two three and, and insert your hook into the fourth stitch and you have to do a double crochet stitch so yarn over and insert your hook into the fourth stitch and have to do a double crochet and chain two and then work a double crochet stitch into the first skip stitch so yarn over go behind come to the front this way and insert your hook into the first stitch first skip stitch and shift your work into this direction and do a double crochet okay so like so you have to continue till the end of this row okay we'll be right back hope you all remember how to end up this row but still i'll show you as this is the last row so here we are going to wind up with a double crochet so here you can see our turning chains so into the top of the turning chain we are going to do a double crochet stitch and have to end up this row okay okay Hope you all learned how to do crochet cabbage patch stitch. And if this video is helpful, please do like, share, and comment. I love to hear, I love to know your suggestions and ideas. So please do comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.